Welcome back to School of Cast Saints. We are here with a legend that is Ross Edgley. Today we're going to start to look at some handstand progressions, work up to handstand, but we're going to swing by a little bit of strength work along the way and see if we can get these babies any bigger than they are. So the basics of our hand balancing work is going to start from the frog stand and then everything's going to build around that. So the first exercise Ross, we're going to get you into frog stand, things on the floor, gripping the ground. We're going to go to some nice white fingertips to create the tension in the hands. Bend the elbows, knees go up on top, and then it's a balancing point of can you then find the tipping over the top and then just hold yourself in that position. Very yeah, simple. Okay, I'm going to fly through these. Nice. All right, from there, the job is to try and take one knee off the elbow, bring it into the middle, keep the hips up high, and then back onto the elbow. Perfect, rest of there. Just, yeah, uh, just turn the side down a bit so you can see. Side on wise. Go to that to go to that focus on again. This angle's oh. great for your triceps as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we see we're trying to start to put like the elbow on top of the wrist, which is like nice, and the knee on top of there and then the hip on top of each of those. So that's just stacking things on top of each other. So just relax. What we'd like to see a little to make it a little bit harder or a little progression slightly, to try and put those knees a little bit higher on those triceps. So your bum's gonna be higher up in the air. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Wow, okay. But then when you take that leg off, that's it. Yeah, so just try and find a little bit higher position. Fingers into the floor. Good. Damn, that's yeah. much harder, yeah. Okay. There, 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 nice. nice. So if you see now, that bum's in a much higher position. Yeah, okay. yeah. And that comes from continue to push the floor down, to keep the power down to the shoulders, to keep the hips high. If you let the shoulders go, you just end up sinking in. So it's yeah. really, again, we start thinking about basic shoulder training, which is actually create tension with the shoulders, that vertical pushing movement. Driving the floor down hard, keeping the hips up nice and high. Got that's super stable. Yeah, rest, 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 rest there, rest there. Tim, just show one where the reason, so I can show it, space out up. So if he stay, if Tim goes into his, is look how high his hip position is. When he then wants to take both knees off, he keeps them high, and if he wants to turn that into a handstand, he's able to then press out from there, keeping that hip high stacked on top of the shoulders. Right. Whereas you imagine if you start that bum way down here, yeah, much harder to get back to, up towards that position. Yeah, yeah. 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 But let's yeah. do that now. <laughs> yeah. Let's get there. Start a bit more. So I can start standing. I can I can put those knees much higher and just lean it so going. Mean, to make yourself get into a higher start position. It's just gonna make it nice. So it's gonna be higher. Then when you take one, try and take one knee off, you'll just keep that hip. That's it. There. Good, don't let it drop down, nice. Feel that left shoulder work hard when that knee comes off. I think I've got this. <laughs> right, so that's starting from the floor in our frog stands. Now we're gonna take it to the wall. We're gonna use the wall to help practice our alignment, but it's also gonna get an awful lot of shoulder stability as well as strength as we start to rep these. It's one of the really nice things about handstand work, using your body weight, but the stability that you have to create through the shoulder joint, when you start to ramp up that stability, you can start to then start uh, put down more force as you uh, build up your strength to get stronger. We're also getting an awful lot of trunk alignment and core work in there. So Tim's working his hands all the way back to the wall, so his nose can touch the wall, his uh, hips can touch the wall, his legs all the way up. So he's actually making himself straight because he's using the wall. Mm -hmm. From there, he then gonna walk back and as he walks, he takes each stride, that shoulder as he places it down the floor is having to stabilize, keep it work, uh, working alongside with his trunk and his core to hold that position. Not rocking and rolling side to side too much, trying to stay nice and tight. So every step he takes, hand goes down, stabilize, or you can stay strong as you work down, strength building, stability as well as that corn trunk line. Yeah, so you go almost like press up position, but your feet are going to go on the wall. Think you have a press up with your feet on the wall. Good, and then as you walk your feet up the wall, you walk your hands in, try to keep this nice and tight in the middle. Good. Good. When you get to the wall, feet together, point your toes a little bit. One thing we didn't mention with Tim is try and push your feet towards the ceiling, so you almost do like a shrug through each other. Good, it. yeah. And then walk your hands forward and turn your feet in here, and then walk your feet, keep your feet a bit close together. Good. And as you walk your hands a bit further, walk your feet down the wall, back to like your press up position. Feel that strength there, Kim? Oh my god, yeah! Again! And then walk back up. But your shoulder ability overhead's looking deep, but much better. Yeah. You get your, can you get your nose to touch the wall? There you nice. Go. Pushing feet towards the ceiling, create that length, there you go, good. And then you walk back out of the leg, off with two. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 no, two, two reps, two reps, oh. yeah, that's just got, he's got two the bump, two the bump. That is good. Do you need dumbbells? Yeah. <laughs> that, that is such a good point.
with that, I always say this, it just completely, too many people there, again, just trying to put more weight on the dumbbells, more weight on the barbell. You, you do two of those, oh my God, yeah. you know, and it's working over ranges of motion. You know, that, that and the stability in the core at the same time. Yeah. How many times we see people overhead press it and lose a midsection control? Yeah. Actually, in that you can't. You've got to lock it where you can, but you have to do it properly. You have to lock yeah. it tight. So all of a sudden, like we know the shoulder and the core have got a really close relationship on. One relies on the other to function yeah. properly. So if we're stable in the midsection, the shoulder then opens up and goes, actually, there's loads more gas in this tank. If you're stable, we've got a stable base to move from that can produce force. Yeah. If we just compromise midsection and it cause all that whack, shoulder then destabilizes, you're not going to lift as much overhead. So again, like, Get some of this stuff in your program. I reckon you know, a pretty good carryover towards your pressing work. Something well. you've already yeah. said before, like you can't, you, there's no way to hide in that. No, it literally is. No, you, you've got it over here. That's so yeah. true. And, and again, it is that barbell and body weight fusion. Yeah. You know, people see the two as separate. It's like, oh, you, you calisthenics? Oh, no, I'm a power lifter. I'm a body yeah. weight. Hang on, mm. why? Uh, yeah, why what bits these... can we all learn from each other? Yeah. Yeah. That's because people go body weight is basic. You start with body weight. Well, that's only if you don't know how to use your body weight properly. Yes, that is such a good point. Yeah. Okay, so we can take in some handstand wall push ups, and these are, uh, for me, one of the best exercises for shoulder strength, providing you've got some decent midsection strength going on. So make sure that, that is looking in good nick before we start loading the body upside down. Look, punch it, I'm ready. <laughs> so, yes. Jacko's got some distance from the wall. We're using the, with his hands, we're using the feet on the wall for some support. Socks on, look at these beauties. Um, so we can actually slide up and down. It gives us a little bit more freedom. And all we're looking to do is try and go as low as we can. You can see Jacko's working hard to keep those elbows pointed him as close behind him as he can. What we don't want to do is see these guys splitting out to the sides, it just throws his shoulder head into a not a very nice position. And we can leave him up there for as long as we think he's got reps in the tank, but he's looking pretty good. <laughs> so that's if we want to start on the floor, but we are limited by how low we can go, so therefore how much range of movement we can get by the floor itself. And even if we were going to go to some barbell work, like we'd be thinking here was somewhere like half rep, which is probably where we're going to be. So if you want to get super strong with the shoulders, we can take it up an angle and we can go on a box. I'm going to pass over to Jacko because I've got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, as I was going down, I get my nose touches the floor and I'm limited by how far or how deep I can go by where the floor is. If you raise your hands up on a box, then you'll see Tim will be able to say bye bye and disappear. Now he's getting into some silly deep range. I'm not strong enough to do that. And he's going through a greater range of motion, load, no different. But he's increasing his adaptation, getting stronger, not by adding a weighted vest on it or anything, he's just going through a bigger range. Which is a great, <laughs> <laughs> a great way to get strong. So rather than like adding weight or changing some other sort of variable, do more, he's actually just increasing range of motion to keep himself progressing with his shoulders. So we're going to get Ross up against the wall into that handstand. So all he's going to do is put his hands up on the floor, kick himself up to find the wall. If you're kind of a bit nervous around this, just progressively kick up a little bit higher until you find the wall. Just trust it's going to be there. And then his job is then to see how he feels and how low he can go. And start to rep some of these out. Head pretty much to the floor, looking good. It's really important, as you push out that bottom position, this core is going to want to break a little bit. So you're going to want to feel like your back's arching. So as you get into that bottom position, just lock that bad boy in tight, make sure it stays strong. Rib cage back down top of the hips. And that's going to keep this nice alignment and it doesn't put too much pressure on the low back. Try to take yourself down a little bit further, go forward a bit more so his elbows can screw backwards a little that's bit better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good. So your head makes a triangle with your hands rather than going, if you take your head straight down, your elbows have to flatter out to the sides and you start to compromise with the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's nice is, is we always talk about that kinesthetic awareness. It's like when you've got you know, dumbbells and you see a lot of like guys who are good at calisthenics and body weight stuff, they're much stronger when they go over to use a barbell. Mm. You know, it's not way all over the place. They're used to holding that yeah. stable position. Yeah. Massive thing about that is if, if we're gonna do a bit of work on the floor, building the shoulder stability up, then what happens when we go and get some dumbbells? If the shoulders are much more stable from some of these exercises, actually if your gains or your objective is to to put some hypertrophy or some max strength or power lift, Olympic lifting, yeah. a little bit of this to upgrade the, the shoulder stability, the robustness of the shoulder, I reckon that's gonna give you a decent kickback when you come to throw some weight overhead. Absolutely, yeah, and you are too bodies to say, but I do wanna see what you can overhead press. <laughs> you know, if he's doing that from there, from like a debt, that's ridiculous. So we're gonna take what we did with the frog stand at the beginning, on the floor, and then we're gonna take what we did with the wall with your alignment, we're trying to piece that together. So you know, Tim did that nice little demo when he took his legs off and yeah, he rotated, and, did and he said, you drop down a bit. I'm gonna help you on your hips, okay. to stop you from dropping down. So you're gonna rotate, or take legs off, rotate, 
then straighten up. Right. And I'm going to spot you, and I'm going to see if I can spot you to a point where you're going to balance on your own. And look back to him. And look back to him. Just being around. Yeah. Might be a bit better. Annoying. Face me, face me. So Tim, just like Cool. So, group of fingertips. You go into your frog stand. I'm going to come under. It's going to get a little bit personal. I'm going to come under you. I'm going to come in here. Okay, ready? So, we're going to take legs off and rotate. Then straighten. Nice. So that easy, right. Now make yourself nice and long, bring feet together. Good. So the job is now, Jack can start working down the body. So as he starts oh, to work together, feet together, feet together, shoulders. Good, make some long. Make some small corrections and helping with Ross, just a fine yeah, that's that's you, that's you. That's you. That's you. Nice, Ross. Oh, fingertips, fingertips, fingertips. This there, is there, 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 there. It is. Yeah. Root kiss down, root kiss down, root kiss down. There. <laughs> so let's yeah. just that fine motor control. There, 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 we go, there we go, there we go. So the interesting thing about that movement is you can actually start to get some small corrections, but the handstand, so many people struggle with nailing it down because of that kinesthetic awareness. When they're upside down, all of a sudden they don't know where the feet are in relation to the head. So having someone give you that feedback is giving you that, that input, the brain's going, ah, oh, okay, this is where I need to be. Yeah. And then you can start to work out your movement strategy of how you're gonna hold that. I don't mm. know if that's how you, what you felt. Oh, massive. I, th I think for everything you can read and you can study, you can watch, it's all kinesthetic, it's all biofeedback. It's, it, the only way to, to do it is to get upside down, to actually start to feel to it. it. Yeah. That's the only way. And that was what was weird is like, I said it was very hands-on to begin with. It was, and then, was it was it was a <laughs> <laughs> But then it was let, and then a little bit, and then, and, less, less and, then, and then it was, yeah, that it was, was like, I'm, I'm doing everything, and then I'm gradually doing less, you're doing yeah. more, and then we take over, and you're doing everything. And yeah. Then, and then, it was a weird sensation, but like a, I don't know, I wanted to go, this is good, but I, I, I don't know, like, it was, it was good. What well, I thought was most interesting was the, was the veins on the, uh, <laughs> on the shoulders and the pump that was getting out, but it just shows you like, does, can body weight be used to build up strength and stability through your shoulders? Like, yeah. we believe it was one of the yeah. best ways to do it. And that doesn't mean you only have to have to do it, but for us, that's what, that's what gets us going, that's what we like and we enjoy, and we like the challenge of it, and like, when you balance then, you're on your own, it's like, yeah. it feels cool. That's it. But you, they go, but you do some work on that, and you go back to your shoulder press, it will go yeah. through the roof, guaranteed. That's it, I, I think strength and conditioning, it's about having all these tools in your arsenal, because some days you might want to go down, grip some iron, and just lift yeah. heavy, but other days, central nervous system, immune system might just yeah. be, you might not just, for whatever reason, neurotransmitters, you might not be motivated. All of those factors, you might not have the equipment. Yeah. And so to have this in your arsenal and go, ah, oh, that's right, body weight, yeah. it can be invaluable, and I think people don't really, understand that it's, it's not one or the other it's a fusion of two yeah so some beautiful stuff to play there with, with there we've got some we can build a handstand from the ground up with your frog stand progressions we can get strong up against the wall and then we can link it together with the help of a pro bro and that's all you need to get into handstand with just a bit of a sprinkle of time some consistency and a load of patience yes. ross is a fascinator <laughs> <laughs> until next time class to me